So usually when I'm talking about what we grow here on the farm, I'm spending most of my time and energy focused on the silvo pasture, you know, our integrated permaculture orchard. I've done tours for you guys in the past of it, due for another one pretty soon. Today I actually want to talk to you a little bit about um, what we're doing a little closer to the home and at a much, much smaller scale. This year was the first year that we were ever able to really make an attempt to establish a garden. Um, you know, this farm has some great soil. Uh, the folks who had it before us used to actually do a vegetable CSA right, right in the same place. And so over the past couple of uh, weeks, we've been building out a garden plot. It's not massive. It's bigger than what I used to do in Washington, D.C. And it's starting to come together pretty darn well. So this right here is our farm's kitchen garden, if you will. It's not at a massive scale like a lot of the other things that we're doing here. It's simple and straightforward. It's just getting off the ground. Um, and uh, I'm personally pretty excited about it. But just so you guys know, the full credit for this thing very much goes to Allison. It was her vision and, and she's been the one doing most of the work to get all the plants in and get everything seeded and planted and doing some plant starts even. Just so you guys know, Allison's a bit shy to speak on camera, so that's why I'm talking about this. I mean, it's a pretty cool setup we have here. It's got some fencing that we built on the extreme cheap. It's just basically uh, garden stakes, chicken wire, and some zip ties. Um, we built this gate out of uh, old pallet wood and uh, some rebar. Um, it's not very high tech. All of our plants, they're, you know, doing okay. They're not doing crazy great, but it's, it's, uh, it's kind of exciting to see some good, healthy agriculture happening this year here on the farm. I mean, we spend so much time waiting for that stuff that to be able to see this stuff grow and develop is pretty exciting to me. Here is where our pumpkin patch is going to be. Uh, here's where our potatoes are, are going to be coming in from. Um, we've got, you know, peppers, cucumbers, squash tomatoes, kale, broccoli. To uh, prepare this garden area, it was relatively straightforward. Um, first we started, I actually mowed this area by hand with the scythe myself. The scythe myself, the scythe myself. That's quite the tongue twister. Um, but I mowed this area and then my friend Aubrey came in and he had a tiller and so he was able to make some pretty quick work of, of this area. Um, I thought about trying to dig it by hand, but gosh, guys, I just don't have that much time these days. Allison's working on doing some borders. Uh, she's got a great aesthetic. It's uh, much less sloppy and much more orderly than mine. Um, and it's nice to see this come to life. We're using a straw bale mulch uh, throughout as a way to sort of keep the weeds out as well as um, you know preserve moisture for the plants. It's, it's exciting to see this stuff grow and, and, and we'll, this will all be producing food that we'll eat this year. So again, as we spend so much time focused on the future, it's nice to have something here on the farm for present day. 